sight in the game could see the boxing boys. We said to get up and tell us uh, how the Jeeps doing. Hey Ray, thank you very much for coming tonight, first of all. Uh, Najib is good, he got thumbed in the eye um, in the third round off of a good jab from Sergei. Um, it's a puffed eye, we're just going to go get it checked out to make sure there's no further damage to it. Um, you know, what to say? I told you guys in the beginning, you know, we're, we're fighting the best guy in boxing. I mean, we are the proverbial long shot. And, uh, you know, Najib would have to come in like a baseball pitcher and throw a perfect game against this guy. That's how good he is. And uh, he tried. He felt really good with Abel. Um, you know, from a management standpoint, I I'm happy he's okay. Uh, he did the best he could. Uh, but like I've told some of you all along, this is a case of a, of a good fighter fighting an elite fighter. And that's what this guy is. He's an elite fighter. Uh, he'll be back. I want you to know that. Uh, like I said, he's only been training with Abel for six months, so uh, things are only going to get better to come. Uh, he tried to do what he, what he tried, you know, they worked on in the gym, uh, going out, but I mean, uh, Sergey Kovo will hurt you with a jab, and that's exactly what he does. And I mean, it's one thing to think about it and talk about it against guys of a lesser value in the gym, but to go out and actually do it in the performance, it's a different story. Uh, we fought the best tonight. I think Sergey Kovalov definitely proved uh, tonight that uh, he is probably must-see TV in boxing. I wouldn't even say probably. I'd say he is. I mean, with respect to Floyd, I think Floyd's a great guy and a great fighter. I just think that if I'm going to pay money, I'm going to pay money to see this man sitting right here uh, on my right-hand side. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm sorry. You're a class act. If you notice, uh, with this promotion, there was no bad-mouthing. There was no pushing each other. There was no disrespect to camps. In fact, we sat next to each other at the Gennady Golovkin's fight. Uh, it was respectful. It's the way boxing should be. Um, you know, you don't need all that ridiculous, immature, childish actions to, to get people to watch. You need talent. And Sergey Kovalev has that, and I wish him all the best moving forward. Najib Mohammed, on the other hand, will be back. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to take it to a lesser stage and, and prove ourselves there. And hopefully we can do that against maybe... Uh, Maybe an up-and-coming guy or somebody that's on the fringe of getting on a big network. And, you know, I, I told Najib this. I said, look, I've been around this game 21 years. And I remember, you know, a guy by the name of Thomas Tate, the first guy who did an article on him. He was a writer back in 1994. Thomas went out and fought probably the best light heavyweight in the world at that time, Mr. Roy Jones, and Roy starts him in two rounds. And Thomas came back later on and made something himself and actually won a title. So, I mean, there's always going to be a tomorrow, as long as you have the intangibles to win in this sport. And Najib Mohammed does have that. Uh, he just wishes that he could have given you guys a better performance. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the night was short for him, but he will return. And I thank you very much, uh, everybody, for coming. I thank you for the wonderful articles that you all did on everybody on this team. And it is really appreciated, and thank you very much. You know, when you're going to be a dominant champion who's going to hold on to, to the title for the titles for multiple, multiple defenses, there are going to be nights when you fight the War of the Worlds, and there are going to be nights when you just have to go out there and close the show. Sergey always manages to go out there and close the show, and that is, I think, part of what is always going to endear him to fans. Uh, because um, he doesn't drag us through long war. He also with uh, opponents who are overmatched. He just goes in there, gets the job done, and gets out. And uh, he did it again tonight. And I uh, uh, want to ask uh, his team to uh, come up and say a couple of words. Uh, I guess, would you like to go first? Good evening, everybody. So now I can talk a little bit about the big pressure because the big pressure is already gone. I left that in the other room. But uh, yeah, I wanted to thank Kathy. She's doing a very, very good job for for Sergey's career. You know, she's moving him as probably as much as possible. I wanted to thank HBO for giving us these opportunities and putting these tremendous big shows. Uh, I wanted to thank Sergey personally to doing those shows and getting those exciting fights as he's an exciting fighter in the ring. Uh, Media, who is following up his career, writing a lot of bad stuff, good stuff. Um, but it's always it's a promotion. No matter what you know, no matter what you're gonna do, um, and you are within that league, uh, 
somebody is always finds to say something bad probably about. Uh, but uh, and that's a business we are in. Uh, other than that, thank you very much, and uh, we're going to be working with Kathy for putting the uh, next survey show somewhere probably before the year is end. Thank you.
Canadian boxers. I know only two Canadian boxers. Can you just explain to us why do you think that they are successful? <laughs> you don't see it? Everybody see it. It's, uh, because uh, they are speaking a lot more than needed, you know. Speaking over. Uh, trash, like a trash bucket. It's, uh, I don't uh, respect this. Arthur Petrbir, why not? We'll see. Take your time. When you hit him early in the fight, I can tell that he didn't really want to have it. Can you repeat again? I'm sorry. When you hit him early in the fight and established yourself, it seemed like Mohammed wasn't prepared to engage you. Could you sense that as well, and it made the fight a little easier, you know, especially going into round two when you knocked him down, and obviously the third round. Could you sense that early on in the fight he had control, and it wasn't going to be a problem with him? English, please. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that uh, any yeah. point of English. Uh, <laughs> Ah, yeah, after the first knockdown, uh, he is, uh, uh, got slow a little bit, uh, he, he, he started to move slow, you know, and, and I got slow too, but uh, I didn't push him and try to continue like, and make the fight as a long as possible, you know, it's, I even didn't understand how I got this uh, punch, la last punch, that finished my, my fight, and it's like, uh, it's, it, it's, uh, it was like uh, automatically, you know, like already uh, result of my, of, of our job from the boxing gym and for four cows. Uh, yes, he's really uh, uh, deserved because he was uh, ranked, uh, ranked number one contender. It's legally and it's uh, true. Nobody put him by self, you know. He will be. He, he, he deserved. He won uh, Duchenko. He won. Uh, he won mandatory fights. You know, it's he deserved, but. It's not my problem that the fight was uh, very short, it's... <laughs> yeah, I used a lot of uh, my last name. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> loud and... Uh, push me, you know, and uh, it, it's happened maybe because uh, people push me, <laughs> and it happened on account. Uh, yes, I used uh, a lot of people, because uh, a lot of my friends, uh, and I recognize, uh, I recognized a lot of uh, voices on the sides, you know, because there was a lot of uh, Russians uh, from Moscow, my friends, personally my friends, and a lot of friends from America. Angeline. Yeah. <laughs> Angeline. <laughs> who, was, who was the loudest? Sergey, so, okay, there was a lot of talk prior to the fight about Abel Sanchez in the opposite corner. Was that, for you, was that at all motivation at all? And did you speak afterwards in the ring after the fight with him? Because the boy, there's a lot of us saying the Sanchez is much more popular with the world of the boy saying the I didn't speak with him before the fight and after the fight. Okay, I know you are apologizing. I think everybody here unanimously was very thankful any time we get an opportunity to see you fight. Who do you think will be able to give you rounds? Or even if, uh, with your trainer, John David Jackson, who do you think might be able to be able to last more rounds with you? I know you said you didn't prefer anybody, but is there somebody out there that you think will be able to last more rounds with you? 
ходишь, как пройти, то это кто из знаешь, что какого-то бутера, который мог бы тебе дать больше рамок. Sergey, do do you think that Adonis Stevenson and Andre Ward maybe fear you a little bit? They don't want to fight you. I don't know. It's not my business uh, thinking about uh, for them. You know, like, uh, we'll see in the future. You know, I cannot say about uh, what they think and what they do. Like we're hoping that. Uh, on HBO, and HBO making a great show and great fight, fights on TV like yeah. I, I hope this uh, <coughs> fight not last my fight in Las Vegas. I want to fight, uh, have a fight more here, and I love Las Vegas, and uh, I love boxing. 